Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Bond here, Overtime Athletes. Today what I wanted to do was show you guys, I got a lot of questions about this, show you guys a set workout of what I would do if I was training somebody for either boxing, kickboxing, MMA, any kind of combat sport. What better than to take a page from when I actually worked with one of my MMA athletes when we were preparing him a, a, a while, a, month, a couple months out before a fight. Um, not, I, I wanna say about two to three. I can't remember exactly where this fall into place, but this is a little bit more advanced depending on where the athlete is at. Obviously, we would go ahead and, and, and you know, meet that, that athlete's needs. However, a lot of you guys have been asking me how I would break down a workout, a particular workout um, for, a, for an athlete. Now, MMA fighters, combat sports, boxers, all that, you guys know you're training, you're putting a lot of time inside the gym on technique and everything. Hell, I know when him, he was doing striking one time a day, he was doing grappling another time a day, um, so I knew his physical demands. In fact, as we got closer to the fight, we only met twice. In the beginning, it was three times a week, and then as we progressed, we went only twice a week. So, I usually typically break it down into a full body workout every single time you're in. I break my sections down into power, speed, strength, and cardio typically. Now, like I said, this is kind of general. It's customized to certain people. If you're somebody who's slow, I might work a little bit more quickness, a little bit more reaction. If you're somebody who's extremely weak, I, work, I might work a little and focus a little bit more on strength. Like I said though, this is just kind of a sample. So to kick things off, for power and speed, we got three movements. I, I basically go up and down and some kind of trunk. As I mentioned in another video, I'm focusing on lower body power, I'm focusing on trunk power, and I'm focusing on upper body power. So for lower body, we're gonna go single leg triple jump, three way. What I want that to look like is I want three jumps out of each leg. I like unilateral strength because most of the time that you're producing force in any kind of combat sports is through one leg. So we do a lot of unilateral movements and I want to get as much pop as we can off that single leg. Moving on, we have ballistic med ball push toss. So ballistic just means we're releasing the ball as we go. I want this fast. I want to kind of mimic a little bit more demand of what they would be performing inside the ring or the octagon. And I also want to make sure that we're going power. So we're going three sets of 10 seconds. So by doing that 10 seconds, I'm going all out power for those 10 seconds. And we're rotating and we're switching, alternating, I'm sorry, each arm. Next, we'll go ahead and go to the trunk. So we have lower body, upper body power. Now we're gonna go to the trunk. I have a med ball alpine toss. I wanna start connecting the upper and the lower body and integrating them. So as you'll see with the med ball alpine toss, I wanna make sure that our trunk is durable enough to rotate as we have a resistance in the upper body and we create power and force out of the lower body. And on the last toss or the last jump, we'll go ahead and throw in a, a ballistic movement where we're releasing the ball and going all out power. So it's a couple, stay strong, stay strong, stable, 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 bang, we release, and then we go into the next repetition. For strength, just, you know, like I said, uh, it, you could do many different strength movements. I like to stick to the core four. I like a bend, I like a squat, and I like a push and a pull. For this particular day, we'll focus on hang clean. We'll go five sets of four, really heavy. I remember doing even single leg hang cleans or single leg Bulgarian squats. Like I said, I love a lot of unilateral movements. For this particular one, we have hang clean. Immediately following this power movement, a hang clean, which is really heavy, we're going to a block dead. So I know this is more of a power movement. I put this under strength because it's lower reps and I want that all out. I want it as heavy as we can go. Following that, we're gonna load up the body. We're gonna, sh we're gonna shoot up in weight and we're gonna go block deadlifts. The block deadlifts, I absolutely love for that stability in that lower back, okay? So I'm trying to really create stability down that posterior chain by performing block deads. Usually you're gonna go about 10 to 30% heavier than your one rep max in the deadlift. Moving on to cardio. To finish, like I said, depending on where the athlete is, this athlete was doing uh, three minute rounds. He was amateur, I believe. So what we did was I tried to develop some kind of superset that was going to be take about three minutes long. So what we did was we went ahead a series of four movements. We went ahead and set the timer and you go through this as, as many rounds as you can in three minutes. So he would go through each one of these, three minutes stop, 
and then go ahead and rest for one minute and repeat those bouts. If you're somebody who did five minutes, you could do that as well. First movement was gonna be man makers. This is gonna be our upper body movement. It's more of a push pull. You have to be able to control the weight as you're going. Next one, I love to throw some kind of a power movement in. So even though we're calling this cardio, it's gonna be repeated bounds 20 yards as much as powerful as you possibly can. After that, we have med ball shoulder over the shoulder. You guys are gonna take the med ball, you're gonna throw it over your shoulder as you go. Just total body movement, really good for the core. And then med ball rotational slam. So basically we're just taking this, another ballistic movement where we're working that trunk and being able to rotate the body as you go. Really low reps here. I want it fast paced. I want him moving through that. He could get anywhere from one to two uh, sets on that. And then we go ahead and stop. Again, like I said, I'm gonna mimic this off of total body movements and I'm going to have them perform it in the same allotted time that they would in the particular ring or octagon, whatever sport that they're performing. So go ahead and try that out. Check it out, like I said, it's more advanced. Go ahead and mimic your guys off of that. Hope it helps some of you guys out. Love you and I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in becoming a better athlete, whether that be sprinting, jumping, strength, or overall looking like an athlete, go ahead and click the box here on my side and make sure that you subscribe to my videos here so I can keep sending them to you. Holler.